Oh, stale rainbow trout, whatever. Stale's better than nothing. Mmm. Hello everybody, Gray still plays, and I'm here with a new game for the channel anyway, The Long Dark. Now The Long Dark, for those of you who don't know, is a survival exploration sort of type of game. It is new to the channel, but not a new game, so you guys are going to have to let me know whether to keep this or scrap it. The basic idea is that you fall into the Canadian wilderness, a seismic or some sort of echothermic event has occurred, everything is covered in snow, although you're in Canada, so a lot of stuff is covered in snow normally anyway, I think. And you're fighting against the environment more than you're fighting against NPCs, so to speak. There's no, like, zombies or guys with rifles and stuff that are trying to kill you. There are wolves and bears, but mostly you're just trying to keep from starving or from dying of, you know, the, the, the sheer cold outside. This game is very atmospheric, and it is very good at making you feel cold. There's two new challenges to the game, Hopeless Rescue and The Hunted Part 1. The Hunted Part 1 says the old bear is after you, nothing can kill him, but the trapper's old bear killer rifle to get to the trapper's cabin before the bear kills you. Okay, so we're gonna have to do that. I believe you start in Pleasant Valley. We're gonna be a male survivor. Challenge seven, that's interesting. I think that's because I have like sandbox modes or something like that. I don't know why the seven is there, that's fine. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and name this something much more appropriate. There we go. We're going to go ahead and accept this. Now, I know a little bit about Pleasant Valley and Mystery Lake. I don't know enough to the point where I would say I can tell you where everything is by heart. But, I mean, getting from point A to point B as long as I... Holy shit! Okay, I didn't know the game was going to start like this. I haven't really watched any playthroughs or anything, and can I even get out of this? Is there anything you can press? Is the, okay, pressing is not working. There's nothing that's coming up on the heads-up display. <laughs> Apparently, you just... <laughs> oh my god! Okay, so apparently the game starts you getting the shit kicked out of you. I didn't know that. We have blood loss and a risk of infection, and I don't know where we are exactly. I don't know how I'm going to find out where we are. Do we have anything? Oh, I can't even press the buttons yet. Okay. Yes? No? Yes. Okay. Do we have anything on us? Okay. We have at least a bandage that I can use. That's nice because that will keep us from like dying immediately. And looking ahead of me, I see a building. So it's ruined, but it looks like there's a basement. So that's epic pull through this time. because... I didn't have time to mention it, but at the bottom of our screen, you're going to notice that there is an eye that is very red and not looking happy. That is because we are absolutely exhausted. Let's go ahead real quick and get like five hours of sleep. I don't want to burn all the daylight because I still want to get exploring and like checking things out. And I don't know how big this basement is. What do we have for light? We have wood matches. That's it. We have some wood matches. Excellent. And we have 12 of them. Let's go ahead and light them up and find out what's in here. Oh, it looks like there's actually quite a bit in here. There's a backpack right there, actually. Oh, this backpack is stocked with goodies. A little bit of water. We have... Okay, so that's the flare gun. Mmm, dog food. Oddly enough, in the game, you can eat dog food. Well, I guess it's not oddly enough. I mean, if you're starving, you'll eat just about anything. Let's go ahead and crouch down here and see if I can grab all of this without needing a light. There's a bunch of flares there. Okay, now I definitely need a light. I can't see crap. Let's go ahead and light up another match. We managed to find some more matches, so that is good. We got all the flares there. Let's go ahead and find out what's inside this fridge. A lot of times inside of fridges, you'll find like water, and sometimes in the freezer, you'll find some meat. Uh, okay, rainbow trout. That's not bad. I'll take a trout. I mean, whatever. That's edible. In the long dark, uh, if it's edible, <laughs> it's for you. It's, you'll eat just about anything in this game, and you'll understand why in a little bit if you haven't played it. Nobody needs this anymore. Ooh, gloves. I don't know what kind of equipment they give us. That is a hunting knife, and we'll go ahead and grab that. Let's see if there's anything on the floor here that I'm missing. No. Plastic container. Want to make sure to grab anything that we find over here. Piece of cloth. That's pretty good. There's a ton of cardboard boxes. I'll actually... I'm actually going to go ahead and break these down. We have this knife now, so we can break these down faster than using our hands, and we can get these tinder plugs out of it, and we're going to need those for when we get wood to start a fire. I don't think that we can start a fire. Is there one more over here? Yes, there is. 
I don't think that we can start a fire indoors. In fact, I'm like 99.9% .9 sure we can't. But actually, let's go try real quick. Okay, you cannot. Insufficient materials. Oh, insufficient materials. You need fuel. Um, maybe we can then. All right, whatever. Let's go ahead and grab our matches. Because I need to be able to see to pick up all these tinder plugs that we just got. The tinder plugs, super useful. Like I said, we're going to need a fire eventually because we're, want, we're going to want to go outside and cook that trout. Uh, what else do we have up here? Oh, there's a little upstairs. We got some socks. We got some more cloth. We have a down vest, which is really important. We're going to want as many clothing as we can find. Ooh, we got some thermal underwear as well. I know that sounds like really mundane. You're like thermal underwear, whoop de doo But like I said, the biggest problem in this game is dying from the cold. Now, if I remember correctly, I think there was, yes, there's an extra bedroll over here. Let's go ahead and break that down right away. The reason that we're breaking this down is it gives us cloth. And that cloth is going to allow us to repair all of our clothing that is no doubt beat to crap. Let's take a look real fast. Do we have any gloves on? No, we don't. So we're going to want to wear these immediately. That's going to help a little bit. We have thermal underwear. We have wool socks. These are sports socks. So we don't want to use those. We do have this thin wool sweater. I don't even think we have a sweater on, do we? Oh, we have a fleece sweater. This The wool one is way better, though. We're going to want this. We are not wearing a vest at all, so we're going to want that. Okay, so we have pretty much everything we can wear. We're going to break down the rest of what we don't need. These socks, for instance, because it's just extra weight. And we're pretty tired. We're pretty thirsty. But we're going to have enough time at the very least to get this done. And then I've got to concentrate on getting something to drink, getting a little bit more sleep, and repairing these clothes. We can get rid of this fleece sweater as well. We're going to rip this apart with our bare hands. I like that the crafting style is just kind of like you don't have to sit there and like watch it happen, so to speak. Like you just kind of press a button and it just assumes that you're going to go ahead and rip this thing apart. You don't have to do any kind of weird actions or anything. Like I said, the game is much more atmospheric than anything else. Let's go ahead and... Oh, we can't repair it because we do not have a sewing kit. And that's bad. What do we have? Oh, scrap metal. Let's go grab that. And I might actually even want to break down these crates so that we can get some wood. I don't know how much wood is around us outside. We need something to drink immediately. One kilogram of water. That's all we got. So let's make it count. We're probably super thirsty. Oh, there's a little bit left. That's so good. We've got these pork and beans as well, and this rainbow trout. There is not much trout there at all, guys. <laughs> Let's go ahead and finish reclaiming all this wood, though. Now, this is bad. Whenever you see, like, those, you're not really sure how much daylight is left, usually that's because some sort of horrible storm is outside. What else does this game want to do to try and kill me? Besides throwing a bear at me immediately and beating the living crap out of us is there anything around here that i am missing because i want to make sure that i am not missing a sewing kit or something that it maybe gave me uh oh okay there we go sewing kit that's why so is there anything else in the shelf no there isn't okay fine let's start repairing our clothing we're going to need to definitely have our clothing in as best condition possible excellent now we can repair it we're getting drained. I'm not too worried, though. We have at least enough food and drink to last us through the night. Where does that put us? 77%? Let's repair this all the way. We got plenty of cloth. You can see now it was feeling like it was 1 degree Celsius, and now it's actually a lot better. We can't repair this because we don't have any leather. Repair this. That'll repair that by 25%. Not bad at all. It's now dark, so... 10 hours of darkness left. This game is cold all the time, but when it gets dark, it gets ridiculous levels of cold. Oh, we are wearing the crappy jeans. Let's wear the good jeans. Harvest what's left here. For a little bit extra cloth. And as long as we're not starving, I feel okay. Let's repair these socks, though. Right now, we're at feels like 4 degrees. We're getting better each time. Ah, oh, we failed. All right, one more time. When you fail, I think it uses up the cloth that you tried to repair it with. I'm 99% sure. Yeah, I know, buddy. Uh, feels like 5 degrees. All right, a little better each time. And there is nothing we can do to this. Yeah, we have to repair that by eventually finding something. Uh, let's repair this vest, actually. Might as well. We've got two, two cloth left, I think. 
And okay, excellent. Feels like five degrees Celsius. It could be better, it could be worse though. Let's do this and find our bedroll and call it a night, wherever that is. Holy crap, I am like totally lost in here. There we go, there's our bedroll. All right, grab something to drink and eat. Uh, I guess we're eating sardines tonight, boys. Uh, it's better than starving. And we're drinking the rest of this. First things first, we're going to have to get a fire going outside, and we're going to have to do this without dying from the bear. I don't know exactly how I plan on doing that. Let's get as much rest as we can, though, to get our, sta our status up. Our status is at, like, 33%. That's that little percentage that you saw. Ah, oh, crap. Our trout just got worn out. <laughs> uh... It is ruined. Okay, so I'm assuming we can't do anything with this. I don't know. Maybe we can cook it. I need anything right about now. Yeah, I know, buddy. Um, here's some pork and beans. You can eat that. All that we have left is a candy bar and a can of dog food. So gourmet meals tonight in Canada as the wind is blowing outside like insanity. I can hear it. How much time is left of daylight? 12 hours of daylight left. Um, what else do we need? We are super, super, super thirsty. Like, we are seriously thirsty. Like, to the point where I actually have to pick up this bedroll, we have to hightail it out of here, and I have to build a... I don't know what I'm gonna do, guys. I don't know how we're gonna survive this. I've gotta build a fire. It sounds like crap outside. I don't know where I'm gonna put this fire. What else is around here? What? What? I hear wolves. All right, let's see if we can get over to this porch. A lot of times, wolves will not attack if you're on the porch. Let's see if we can get right over here. Yeah, you see that wolf coming at us? Let's find out. Here he comes. Okay, all right, we're fine. We're super parched, though, and it feels like it's 17 degrees. We are protected from the weather over here. Am I able to get out of this porch if I build this fire? Yes, I can. Oh, there's a guy over here. Oh, there's some simple tools over here, too. Let's build this fire. Make sure that we do it on the wind shear protected side. Oh, oh, get your ass out of here, buddy. I don't have time for your bull crap. All right, little fire, please start. We're using reclaimed wood. We've got a 50% chance to start this fire. I guess it's either heads or tails, right guys? And then we're gonna use all of our reclaimed wood to try and keep this thing going. We're gonna melt down some snow. Now, if you haven't played the game, you can't just melt down snow and survive off that. You've got to boil it as well. Well, I guess you could drink the melted snow, but you might get stomach cramps or food poisoning, I believe it is, and that will kill you faster than anything. Oh, that's so good. It worked. We're going to put all this in there. We are going to melt a crap ton of snow. And I'm not exactly sure how I want to get rid of this this dog. I assume, let's do one liter for right now, just so we can stop our dehydration. I assume I'm just going to fire at it with this little flare gun I have. And then I've got to figure out exactly where we are, because I still have no idea. Let's go ahead and drink this. There we go. Oh, yeah, that is much better. And we want to, can we, can we cook this? Oh, it's cooking. Come on, little trout. Please come to Papa. Oh, stale rainbow trout. Whatever. Stale's better than nothing. Mmm. 297 calories. Thank you so much. Got to finish boiling all this water so that we have enough water to survive here. And then I need to figure out exactly where I want to head. I saw that there is a dead guy sitting next to us. So let's go and, what, what else is walking around over here? It's the friggin' bear! You gotta be kidding me! Go screw! Holy crap, that is like bigger than the average bear as well. Yeah, run your happy ass away. I don't have time for your BS. Let's find out what what's over here. Oh, some firewood. Grab what we can off of this guy. If there's anything, nope, there's nothing. <laughs> What kind of luck do I have? We're gonna have to look over this mountain and see if there's anything around us. How many hours are left of daylight? Nine hours. We are fully warm, we should be. Yeah, we're pretty much warm. And, um, uh, all right, I guess we'll take this brand here. 
Or a torch, I guess, if you want to call it that. If I remember correctly, I think that there's a box over here somewhere. Yes, there is. What is in this container? Maybe some food? Yes! Oh, condensed milk. So good. A little bit of antiseptic as well. Let's start moving. I'm going to sprint because I don't know how else to get out of here fast enough. I also need to find out where we are. I want to get off this hillside as fast as possible. Normally in this game, you do not want to sprint because it will burn up your calories epically fast. I think the bear went this way too. But we got to keep moving. Go, 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 go. Go. Oh, Jesus. The bear is right there, apparently. Uh, let's see. How do we get out of this? Can we go this way? Yes, we can. Oh, that's a pretty far fall. Uh, uh, okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. In this game, this is not like most games where you can fall like 30 feet and be just fine. If you fall like two or three feet, you will break your leg in this game. Let's keep heading down this hillside. How steep is this? Eh. Kind of steep, but not terrible. Oh, oh god, I thought that was a wolf. Let's kind of move at an angle here. Now, if I see any sticks, I will pick those up. And there's a reason to pick up sticks. It doesn't take any time. Oh, we don't want to do that. You don't want to fall down the hill. There we go. You can pick up sticks. It doesn't take any time. So you're not sitting out in the cold. It is negative 11 degrees Celsius right now. So it is really, really, really damn cold. There's a stick. Breaking down these branches is like 15 minutes. And if you break down limbs, it's like 45. And you need a hatchet. And we don't even have a hatchet. Just keep moving. Oh, another stick. The bear does not appear to be around us. Ah, okay. I kind of know where we are now. That is a roadway. And that is really good. Because if we follow this roadway, we will at least find a way to a structure of some kind. I don't know if we're heading north or south, so to speak. Now, sometimes around the roadways, there are wolves. Which I'm not really thrilled about seeing, but, uh, well, I guess it's if it's between freezing to death or dying from wolves. Ah, there's a bridge here. I think, I think I know where we are. Let me see what's out past this. I'm pretty sure if we head this way, we will hit a structure. I would say I'm 55% sure. So slightly better than average. A structure of some sort and we have to do it because we are going to freeze to death if we don't and that would be a terrible way for this series to end like on the first episode freezing to death all right what do we got we got some trees that are down just keep following this sad little roadway here and like i said the environment of this game is really a heck of a thing i mean it is just an awesome atmospheric vibrant game i love the color palette i know it's mostly white but i i should more say i like the artwork style the artwork style of this game is just fantastic all right buddy don't die on me okay okay yes this is good. This is mostly good. That is not good having a, a wolf there, but everything else is good. Let's see if I can get past this wolf without him coming after us. Kind of head this way here. And if we kind of go around this way, we should be a farm of sorts. There's a farmhouse. I mean, that's better than... It's better than nothing. It's better than just being out in the straight cold, I guess. But man, I was hoping for an actual solid standing structure. There's the, uh, there's the crows. They're waiting for us. <laughs> See what the temperature is inside of this thing. Oh, there's a guy in here. You got anything on you, buddy? Maybe some food? I see he's carrying something. Is that a flare? Oh, it is. That's really good. Ah, some firewood as well. Some more gloves inside this container. Something to eat. 
It's negative 12 degrees inside of here, so it's still friggin' frigid. Need to keep moving. Need to keep moving and find something better than that structure there. I want to find four walls and a roof. Come on, is it getting any cooler? 15 degrees Celsius, negative. Jesus. We are now at risk for hypothermia. Come on, buddy. Don't, don't go, don't go into the long dark yet, my man. We'll get you there. If I can get all of these snow mounds real fast. Ugh. Come on, sprint button, don't fail me now. Get up over the snow mound. Up over the snow mound. Okay, this is the orchard. We found the orchard. I know right next to the orchard is the farmstead, which is like the best house in the game. And we can definitely refuel and not die there. And I think it's this way. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, we found it. Okay, as long as there's no wolves, we're going to be able to make it there. There's a car over here as well. We're not going to be looking inside of that car, though, until we can get out of the cold and not die horribly. Chattering our teeth. And I can't really say burning in hell, but just experiencing a really, really frosty demise. See if we can keep sprinting toward the goal here. Come on, baby. Almost there, guy. Just keep it together. Keep it together for a little bit longer. It'll be much warmer inside, and there will be a ton of food, I promise. And if I'm a liar, then, I don't know. You can slap me across the face with that trout that we just ate. Ugh. We made it, guys. It is seven degrees inside. We are not going to die of the cold. And we found the farmhouse, which is like the best place to find. We're going to be looting the hell out of this. Let me know, guys, if you're liking this series so far. I'm a big fan of Long Dark. I just don't know how well it would translate into a Let's Play at this point, especially when we're trying to run from this bear. Feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Until the next time, though, folks, stay foxy and much love.